thing we talk about all the time is understanding that camp's, you know, a marathon, not a sprint. I mean, this we got 27 practices, so you're not going to earn a starting job in one day, and you're not going to get redshirted in one day either. It's just, it's just about coming out and being consistent, learning and improving, and, and making sure that you're better uh, tomorrow than you were today, and that's really what, what, what it's all about. It's a special time of year, and everybody's excited and hungry, and, and uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a it's a fun fun time to coach. Well, everybody's coming out with a lot of energy. My body feels great. Um, it's just it's exciting to be finally back out here. You know, uh, summer summer's fun. Summer's you know all the running and conditioning, but you know we love to play football. We're finally getting to do that. It's been positive. I mean, there's a lot of wrinkles we still got to get worked out, and and little nuances and details, but. Uh, but overall, the tempo is good, the pace has been good, and you know we're getting a lot of plays uh, run pretty quickly. It's a pleasure when you can go into the classroom, talk about things, and then you go out later that day and you see those guys trying to do exactly you know, the details of, of what you just got done teaching them. Um, and if they continue to do that, I think we're going to have a really good group. The first few days of practice are always really, there's a lot of energy, and uh, this next upcoming week is kind of where it kind of, you know, you kind of get your camp legs and it gets really tiring and repetitive, so we've got to come out every day and work. We have a long camp, it's a grind, you know, but it's, it's so exciting. You're finally playing, like I said kind of earlier, um, the running, the lifting, it's all necessary. You've got to do it when you work hard, but, you know, we come here to play football. That's what we love to do. Finally, camp comes, we get to do that. We're an offense that um, is going to change personnel. I think everybody assumes that it's going to be four wide receivers all the time or five wide receivers. But you know, we'll play with tight ends, we'll play with fullbacks, we'll play with 7-0 linemen sometimes, and and show a lot of different things and um, and have some packages that'll that'll utilize our personnel. We're going to try to uh, uh, snap the ball as soon as the referee puts it down. You know, uh, that's our deal. We're going to run a minimal amount of plays. We're going to try to execute them. Uh, as perfect as we can and as fast as we can. We don't do a whole lot, you know, so we don't do the chess game. We're not a big schematic team, as you, you know, you'll see. We're going to line up in just a couple formations, uh, but we're just going to wear you out. You know, we're going to play as fast as you can. we got to move the chains. We know that, so we have to be perfect, uh, and we have to execute the play better than, than you've practiced stopping it. We work by ourselves off uh – every day in the summer and with seven on seven and routes and stuff and you could definitely tell that the speed of our offense has uh, picked up. Coming out here right now it's, it's up tempo and we're trying to get this ball snapped as quick as possible. These kids did a really good job this summer. You know in the summer we're not allowed to coach them, we're not allowed to be with them, but they can do stuff on their own. They come out here and throw on their own, they run routes on their own and you can tell uh, that they did a lot of quality work this summer. This training camp, we're going to ask you to do more than you've ever done before. We're going to ask you to go, go harder in practice. We're going to ask you to work harder in the weight room. We're going to ask you to be a better teammate than you've ever been. We're going to ask you to be more mature in the dorms than you've ever been. We're going to ask you to take care of each other more than you've ever taken care of each other. Okay? And we're going to ask you guys to pay in more than you've ever paid in. Okay, because the more you pay in, the more difficult it is to lose. And the more you're gonna fight. And that's what we have to do. And then we're gonna do it over and over and over and over and over again so we can execute in our sleep. Freshmen that play early aren't always necessarily the best the best players, they're usually the ones that can adjust the quickest and pick things up and, and in a lot of cases the most mature. Um, you know, because there's so many you know demands on them now that are additional and, and heavier and deeper demands than there were um, on them before when they were high school players. And this freshman class I think is very solid. I mean, I really like these guys. Um, you know, I, I, they're smart kids. They're hardworking kids. They have high character. And I think we have some uh, some freshmen that that have really bright futures. So that's why you coach. You enjoy being out here, and I, I love practice. I mean, that's I love uh, you know watching guys improve and get better every day. And I like the competition and. Um, you know, and I like interacting with the student athletes. And so, you know, we're so limited in what we're allowed to do with the guys in the off season. It's good to have a chance to be around them and, and you know, get to know them and find out about them uh, on the field, obviously, but, you know, find out what's going on off the field as well. It's a grind, you know. Ob obviously, when you come out, when you start out here, you know, you're bottom of the depth chart normally. 
and it's, a, it's rough, you know, you get your two, three plays and then you start getting anxious, like I got to do something crazy out there to make them finally notice me to try to get up. You just got to start getting in, get in there, show them you're ready to work, you're ready to work hard, people get injured, people, tons of stuff happens, you get your opportunity, you just have to be ready for when that happens. This is a special place, guys, okay? It's the number one public institution in the world. All right, this place has a rich tradition of football. And this place has everything that we need to go win a, win a championship. Now it's up to us to go do it. Okay, it's up to us to do it over and over and over and over again for the next 27 practices until we prepare to go play Northwestern on August 31st. Hey, let me get a pass to go, go! Pass.